work of fart. Hey out there, this is Skeet Ulrich, that's me. I'm here at Rock and Shock outside of Boston in Worcester. And uh, you're watching Model Behavior, which looks like this. What's cracking, everybody? Boom, boom! As in the fireworks that I've been keeping you up all night, every night, for the last few months, but I digress. It's the stereotypical stereotype show. Chef, boy am I, trying to be. Patriotics, independence from DoorDash. You can't say patriotic without riot. Fourth of July, cooking show extravaganza. That's right, today I'm going to point out your dependence and help you celebrate your independence from DoorDash and all those other apps you depend on. This is one of my go-to recipes I've been making in different variants for years, going back to like 2006, and it's always been a hit at whatever summertime barbecue I get invited to or throw. Why the mask, you ask? We live in a time where uncertainty reigns. You see all of the internet, wear a mask, don't wear a mask. Personally, I do it to show respect to my elders who this pandemic is taking its toll on. They're spending their golden years in fear when they should be celebrating what they've accomplished in life. Anyone working a kitchen should do the same, in my opinion. Okie dokie, let's get to it! For the firecracker sauce, you'll need mangoes, tomato sauce, oregano, four Thai chili peppers, because it's the 4th of July and Thai in July rye. So obviously you would use four Thai chili peppers. Some crushed red pepper, basil, spinach, sugar, fresh garlic, and the secret ingredient, Sweet Baby Ray's Sweet and Spicy Barbecue Sauce. And for the flatbreads, you'll need the firecracker sauce we made, Brooklyn bread, pizza crust, chicken, sun-dried tomatoes, pepper blend that has the orange, yellow, red, green peppers, onions, another Thai chili pepper, mango, basil, and four cheese pizza. Real simple recipe, people love it. Good? Yeah, it is. Is it hot? It must be hot. You guys are like, it's amazing. Like it just came out of the oven and you're all mowing it down like it doesn't hurt your face right now. No, no. Alright, to speed up the process, I put all the ingredients of the sauce together, mixed it real good. Just want to get that all taken care of. And we want to preheat the oven to 450. You're going to take the chicken and you're going to cook it in some of the sauce. Just leave it to caramelize. So we'll just get the ingredients going. These are the toppings. Get them over to the side. Get them all ready. Let's just uh, use the magic of motion picture and there we go. So we have the chili peppers, the spinach basil blend, the, un the peppers and onions, some dried tomatoes, and mango. And we got the sauce, some leftover sauce that we didn't use to cook chicken. And we got some crushed red pepper, plus we got our four cheese pizza blend. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the sauce, and we're going to get it all nice on the crust. Those Brooklyn bread crusts, we're going to add a little bit of cheese. And we're going to take our chicken mix that we made. It's all nice and flavorful, because it's been stewing in that sauce. Add on there a little more cheese. Now with the toppings, we got the peppers, which add that color, that nice festive color going on. It's like the different fireworks blowing off. And we're going to add the um, chili peppers and the sun-dried tomatoes. Get them all nice and mixed up. Make sure it's all over the place. We'll add the mangoes. We're also going to want to just, you know, like push down it on everything, get it all nice and settled. Last, you want to do the basil and spinach blend. Then we're just going to top it off with our cheese. Get it all nice and on there how you like it. If you want to do extra cheese, do what you want to do. Celebrate your independence by independently thinking, you know? Isn't that how it works? Now we're going to take a little bit of crushed pepper just to give it a little color on top of the cheese. And that's that. So now we're going to drop the oven down to 375. We're going to throw our pizza in for 14 minutes, and voila! So let's get this bad boy out of the oven here, okay, so we're going to let it cool down for a second. 
then we're just going to cut it into squares, little bite size, one bite, pizza, flatbread, squares. Alright, so here it is, the firecracker chicken flatbread bites, uh, instant classic party barbecue, it's still barbecue-y, and people love it, it's kind of like a bang snap for your mouth, yeah, alright, so anyways, that's it, we're done, like, comment, subscribe, if you want to see more of these videos, let me know, I got a bunch of different recipes I can do real quick, easy, ghetto gourmet style oh, recipes. Oh, That's some good action with that. Oh, 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 oh. Stuff your face. Oh, oh. Um. oh wait, I'll try you. <laughs> Get silly with model behavior. Behavior. Wabu! Oh, I can't see anything. It's like the glasses are falling out.